So welcome back to another episode of LA Fish Guys. Unfortunately, our fancy cylinder tank has got some bacterial issue in there. And we've gone to our uh, fish wholesaler who's made some suggestions. Uh, tomorrow we'll go down and pick up that medication, but today we're prepping the tank for that medication. Now keep in mind, we've already been treating the tank and we don't want to mix medications. So what we did today was a regular service on the tank. We put activated carbon back into the system. That activated carbon will help remove the medication that's currently in there. We also just finished doing a big 100 gallon uh, vacuuming of the gravel. Now we're gonna put 100 gallons of new real ocean water back into the tank. So come on, let's get to work. So we've got 100 gallons of water that we're going to replenish into the tank. We're going to pump that all the way back into the house. It's a 460 gallon tank. We're going to replenish 100 gallons. And so with the garden hose carefully extended across the main living room on the upper floor, and then sneaking over the edge and we'll carefully grab that hose from the edge so that we don't spill any water and we'll secure it to the inside of the aquarium with a squeeze clamp. Once everything's secure, we'll dash back to the van, plug the sump pump in in the 100 gallon container of real ocean water that's out in the uh, van and we'll begin to pump that into the tank. Now, as you can see, the golden butterfly seems to have one of those red hash marks on her side. She unfortunately did lose her partner. And according to our fish wholesaler, golden butterflies, semi levartis, are one of the more difficult to resolve this particular issue with. But we think it's also passed over to the large Imperator Angel. You can see she has a small red open sore on her side too. So we need to get this 100 gallon water change completed as well as the debris out of the system including the former medication. Once that's taken care of or removed, I can then come back in and add the medication that our fish wholesaler is going to give to us. Having now just replaced 100 gallons of salt water back into the 460 gallon cylinder tank, our goal is complete and reviewing what our goal was, was to prepare the tank for the addition of a medication, a strong medication that we're going to be given. So we've used this little giant sump pump many times before and it's served us real well over time. Maybe I've used, gone through two of them in probably 15 years. Great little pump. Okay, so we've done the 100 gallon water change. Uh, we vacuumed the bottom. We cleaned the sculpture. We put the activated carbon and a new pleated cartridge back in that system. We're in the process of removing all of, as much of the medication as we can in lieu of the expectation that we're bringing home some new medication tomorrow. So we're gonna clean the exterior of the tank. We'll put this garden hose away. So make sure to come on back for the next part so you can see how we try to resolve the Chromus damselfish red source situation in the tank. 
make it a point to come on back for part five as I find some aquarium literature that talks specifically of the ailment that we're dealing with inside the aquarium as well as some ways of diagnosing, recognizing it, and of course then there's the addition of adding the medication and seeing if we can resolve it.